Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today is our second video in how to write a workout. And this is our second basic principle of training, and that is overload. So as I mentioned in our progression video, progression and overload are often combined into one term known as progressive overload. And, and they do, it, it's really hard to distinguish between the two. Where progression, I'm, I'm getting a little bit more and more and more and more. Uh, overload just means I'm doing something that my body isn't used to. So it doesn't have this like time uh, perspective of it. Like I don't have to think, okay, I need to do 5% more than I did. I have to think I need to do something that my body isn't really comfortable doing. Training itself, eliciting fitness adaptations, like all of that is supposed to be uncomfortable. So if it's not uncomfortable, you're probably not overloading your system and you're probably not going to get any adaptation out of it. Now, that might be okay because your goal might just be to maintain the adaptations that you have. And if that is the case, it is fine to do things that way. But if you're looking to make gains, to accomplish new goals, you're going to have to overload your system. So what does overload look like? That could be more weight than you've ever done. That could be uh, another rep. That could be doing another set. That could be resting not quite as much as you normally rest. That could be doing a whole nother exercise at the end of your workout just to really push in some fatigue. Um, that could be training with someone so that you're doing all of those things at the same time. You're more motivated to do that. Overload. The best part about training is you can always progress on something, even when you don't really feel that good. You just take less rest and kind of like work through it. Um, there, cause there's so many different pieces that you can tweak that you can always kind of progress on something. Now that's frustrating because it's hard to control and it's hard to uh, do different uh, reductionist studies to really know what kinds of behaviors are eliciting what kinds of changes. But that's what this video is for. We have five basic training principles. We're going to go over some of the outlined principles of writing a program, like the pieces of writing a program. And then when you understand all that, you can just kind of start paying attention to how your body responds to it. So first principle we talked about was progression. That is doing about 5% more every time. And second principle we talked about today is overload. That is doing something that your body is unfamiliar with. That is how we start to elicit adaptations.